look, so my clock has been going kind of weird recently. Uh, it's not actually 9.57 though, it's like 6.30ish. Check this out, Luke. I'd be like, what the heck is, see that? I'd be wondering why that happens. Turns out, I don't know why this is a thing or why is, I barely noticed this. But look, don't buy my shoes though. Every time I press the brake. Also this, look. The lights get kind of dimmed out. I let go of the brake. I was wondering why my lights are kind of flickering. I thought they were like going out or something. But it was every time I press the brake. If I turn on the lights, that problem goes away. Press the brakes. I don't know what the heck that is, dude. Yo, what is going on, y'all? So, yeah, we are in the project the EJ2 Coupe, but that's besides the point. So, real quick, a little pause before this video continues. If you guys already know, if you've been keeping up with the channel, we're trying to hit our goal. Almost at our goal. Our goal is 1,000. We're like at 9.30-ish, somewhere around there. So, if you guys could do me a favor, go down below, hit that subscribe button, and tap that bell icon so you never miss another Zen Inside drop again. I'm Los. Hey man, look, check this out. Okay, look, it's Piccolo right there, look. So for today's motivational word, what we got is see the best in every situation, no matter what it is. It could be a bad thing that happens to you, it could be a good thing that happens to you, but see the good, the positive side of everything. So if you, something bad happens to you, you see the good to it, don't see the negatives to it. Okay, this is good, you know. Uh, it's, I'm glad this happened to me so that I could use that as motivation to do better. Whatever the case, if it's a good thing, I'm like, okay, I'm great, great this happened to me. This happened to me for a reason. I deserve for this to happen to me. That's what I got for you guys today. So, enjoy today's video. Yo, what is going on, yo? So, if you guys see from the title, we're going to be installing something yo. on this guy's EJ8, the Turbo EJ. What it's is a it? VMS adjustable short shifter. A VMS adjustable shifter. We're about, basically about to install it and kind of give it like a little review. See how it feels. See if it's good quality. See what's up. How much did you pay for it? It's like a, like 100 bucks. It's 100 like bucks. a budget K-Tune style. I'll, well, just put a picture how it looks. Yeah. Boom. Got the blade, bro. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it like, still work. Slightly, that's it. Like the part number. Is On the what, Acura what it's called? D and D series. Slight uh, here it is. These. Oh, it looks sick. It actually feels pretty good, quality wise. I thought it was gonna feel more flimsy. Nah, because it's, it's. It feels it's pretty good. Quality. It's not like. It's not like a K-Tune, so it's not going to feel like... But it feels good, though. Yeah, it feels good. See that one? Oh, that feels pretty sturdy. Look, you adjust it, you loosen these. Okay, you however, these, yeah. however tall you want it to be. It's for this. It's the height. And then the shorter... The higher you have it, the more shorter your throw will be. The lower you have How it. How do you want it to so be? So I'm going to just max it out to the shortest. Uh, short, just short? See, yeah. Just see what's up. For, it's not really a budget. It's like the in-between budget. Because K-Tune would probably be the most expensive. And, and um, Hybrid Racing. Yeah. Hybrid Racing yeah, and K-Tune would probably be the highest one. I'd say it's like in the middle. All right, so if you want your sh your um, throw to be short as possible, you put it all the way on top. Which in this case, I'm going to do it. If you leave it in the middle, it's going to be it's still going to be short, but it's not going to be as short. And then the lowest point is you know just like stock, basically. I'm gonna have it like this. Just tighten this. <clears throat> Take out the shift knob. I have the same shift knob, but I gotta buy the adapter thing that's in there. So I haven't yeah, put it on my like app. Is this a stock one or what is this? No, it's a short shifter. But I think it's an Ethan one. Mm. You, you don't even have the boot on here? Yeah, the dust doesn't fly on to you when you're yeah. driving the street? It does not. I can, <laughs> I can see the whole floor. <laughs> this piece right here. And then after that, you just adjust the height. This part goes to the linkage, and then this one goes in here. Let's get it. See, so he needs a size 12. Let's see if it fits there. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> uh, I need two of them, bro. You need two 12s? Okay. Right. Yeah, look, there's another one. Two's out. Yeah. Because I got to drop this part of the linkage to get to these two bolts right here. So I'm going to just take this off. 
One eternity later. Ugh, this feels nasty. Is just dangling? Yeah. Hold on, we don't see how it looks like from the inside. <laughs> It's right. held on by these two tens, but you gotta hold it. Two tens. Yeah. And remember one time we went to the junkyard, we trying to take those out, and these little bolts on top just kept spinning. These and little grooves just keep spinning right here. You got tens already? Mm -hmm. So what we did at the junk was use some pliers, just kind of grab it so it doesn't spin. It came off already. That one. Yeah, you can take it out. All right. I get the other side now. Yeah. See right there, dude. Ah, what? Ah, bro, you good? Yo, chill. Hey, you can see me up. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Second out. Shifter is free. What you're going to do is from your original shifter, take this little bushing. Where's the extra shifter? Yeah, it's like it comes with a little bushing down there. Bushing it here, just take the it out ball. to reuse it for this one. Make sure you grease it up. I just greased it, but I didn't record that part. Check it out. Make sure it has enough grease to move around. Grease that thing up. You're using your sweater to clean the Yo, grease yeah. out? Are you good, bro? Huh? You good? Yo, no yo, watch out, yeah, yeah, yo, yo. All right, after some struggles, we got it in. I had to use both of my hands, and this dude's crying. Is it working? Yeah, yeah? I'd say so. You keep it a certain way. Wait, hold it. It's just kind of flimsy because you got to attach it to the shift linkage. I know, but it looks good, no? Mm -hmm. With the shift on right here. It'll sit kind of like this. But now you just have to attach it from the actual shift linkage itself. And there should be it. And then you just attach everything from the top. Maybe it's a shift linkage already? Yeah, it's already on. Alright, I'll let you get the first shift. I was going to do it, but I'll let you do it. Man, that's super short, huh? Yo, that's mad short, dude. Look. Like, the gears, look. Like... I don't know if you can see on camera. It feels pretty sturdy. Should I put in this piece? It probably feel better with this piece on it. Yeah, that's why you need it because you can't really have too much mm -hmm. grip up here. All right. All right, well. next step. The good thing with this though, if you guys end up installing one of these things, yeah. definitely get a weighted shift knob. This is a Mishimoto weighted shift knob. Because this thing is pretty heavy. It doesn't look too heavy, but it's at least, well, like a pound. If not more, maybe like two pounds. It's pretty heavy, dude, for the way it looks. It's like this, you put the shift down there, and you add the shift knob. It's gonna feel good. You adjusting it? See how you like it? I mean, you're gonna be the one driving it, so however it feels best. Shout out at Ben, NW. You're the homie. Right, you're adjusting everything, you're good? They're not loose? You know what, dude? <laughs> Your hand's gonna hit the <laughs> console, dude. I gotta lower Look it. how close that is. I gotta lower it. But, I mean, the gear is short. See how, it, once you tighten it, see how it would look like. Third gear? Yo, it does? Look. Yeah, my hand hits this piece. Nah, you have to put it lower. Yeah, just a slightly lower, because I like how it looks kind of tall. But... Yeah, it does look cool kind of tall. You see now? Look. You think it's good enough, though? It's pretty good. It's My fingers do still kind of hit this. I think it's, it's good, though. It's not like I, when I had it tall at first, though, my hand yeah. was like right here. You see? Oh. see? I mean, look, it doesn't hit. Yeah, it's closed, but my hand doesn't hit. That's third gear. Fifth gear be right here. Nah, you're good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it like this. Let's have for some clear ribs with the new shifters to have feel. If you guys haven't checked out his build, dude, just check the channel out. There's a bunch of videos on this Turbo LSV Tech EJ8. And now with this shifter, dude, has that shifter. It's gutted. It's a single seat Turbo LSV Tech. Hey, it should feel a lot better, dude, especially with that shifter. We'll open the gate real quick. We'll get some res, though. Get it. Is that new downpipe? Hey, ah. Oh, that lip almost got ripped off. 
Hey, how does it feel? I think it's worth the hundred bucks. It's worth the hundred bucks. Doesn't feel like cheap at all. Like, you want to take it out? Just... Oh, I feel sick, dude. I'm gonna take it for. No, I'm not gonna rip it. I do a U-turn. No, I'm not gonna rip on it. I just wanna see how it feels. Do this seat. It's mad small. I don't fit in it. Might just basically test it out. This dude has that little gauge right there, but he did get some AEM gauges that we'll be doing in a future video. Let's see what it feels like. Go down the street real quick. the street right now so we're about to see him roll through i don't think he's gonna do a pull but i think he's just gonna coast through let's check it out though should be i hear him down the street but let's check it out Budget kind of too. This VMS one is perfect, dude. It's like a hundred bucks. I know the K2 ones go for like 200 plus. It might even be 300. I don't know. But dude, this is definitely a bang for your buck. They do have some cheap eBay ones for like 30 dollars, but I think those are garbage. It is, dude. I have an Integra. If you guys been keeping the channel, my Integra is low, but it's not that low. Dude. It's insane low. It kind of sounds kind of sick though. Oh, you put your turn signal. All right, what did you think about the shifter? What do you want to tell the people? What, what, up? what up? I think it's worth it. It's better than the $32 Amazon one. That one's cheap. This one is 100 bucks. It's a bang for your buck, you know? Of like a budget one. And it's not, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels like- No, it like feels really quality. good, dude. It feels, it feels really good. Quality. And the, the way it shifts when you drive, it just feels, it feels nice, you know? But yeah, look at it. Dude, it looks there, nice, look, see? I like the combo with the Mishimoto shift. Yeah, it looks sick. The Mishimoto shift looks sick. It matches the actual shifter itself. But yeah, but when you, once you drive it, so if you guys are looking to get the exact same one, uh, leave a link, a link in the description below. Yeah, put a link down there. And see if you guys like it too, because watch, if you guys, you guys will like it. Recommend. For a short shifter, you will like yeah, it. Yeah, it's clean. It's clean. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much it for this video, dude. If you guys did enjoy this video make sure you go down below you subscribe hit the like button comment do all that good stuff you already know what's going on help us our goal our goal is a thousand subscribers like at 9 30 like peace